going to be his turn to act first now. Teddy with the button and the small blind. It's a raise. It looks like 40,000 pounds. That would mean a 20,000 pound raise on John. He's got plenty enough to call. He's got plenty enough to raise. Wow, that's a big hand. I think he will go all in with this hand if uh, John, John gives him the opportunity. Well, yeah, we're going to see. Wow. He's giving him the opportunity. Raise. John with a re-raise of at least 100, 100,000 pounds exactly. We're going to see a big pot now. I think there's no chance Teddy will not move the rest of his chips in right now. He's not going to make the same mistake he like made last time. Mind you, it wouldn't be a mistake this time. There's a lot of hands that beat an ace-queen, but the odds are against John Duffy having one right now. That's what Teddy's thinking about. No, no, he's, he's just thinking that he wants to wait a while. and He's, he's going to stick his chips in, but he's waiting to make it look as if he's got a weaker hand than he's got. I agree and with then, you, Barney. And then in they go. I think they're all going in. Yes, here they are. It's at least a call. It's at least a call. He's trying the uh, he's trying the trap again that he tried last time, but this time he's got a bigger hand. He's got position. I think this is a big mistake. But I, it's, it is a mistake. But uh, he does have the position. He's called. This is a big look pot. at this. Oh my gosh! But strangely, huh. Teddy may fold this hand, and away, he may it? survive a situation where almost everyone would have lost their money except for Teddy. John Duffy has checked. He's sat tight. He's got three eights. He's not going to bet. He's going to try and get Teddy to stick his money in. Now the action's back on him again. He should bet now. He should put a little bet Again, in. I, I feel like still. most players would have bet Teddy's hand after the check. That's an extraordinary well, hand. Well, that's what, that's what John was trying to induce. Yes. And now he's thinking of a little bet to look like a steal and try and make him come over the top of me. I'm looking about 50,000 bet here. Yeah, he's trying to fish him in. Has he caught him? It's actually a brilliant bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, got him involved now. There's too much in the pot now for Teddy to get away from this, I think. Yeah. And if the river comes an ace or a queen, I this, think could this be tournament will be over. If it does or it doesn't, I think this tournament is going to be over. I think yeah, very likely. I think we're looking at the next... Uh, Fifth card, this is the last one. It's that's an ace. It. This that's tournament it. is over. This tournament's over. It's finished. No question. Unbelievable hand. No question. Aces he's checked, he's checked, he's he's, checked he's to checked. it. And, and it really it happens, didn't matter if he had bet or check. As it happens, it didn't matter because the ace came. Yeah, this is it's all over. Aces and eights, it's called the dead man's hand. Yeah, Wild Bill Hickok shot through the heart holding it. Right. John Duffy's holding it, but he he's may right. end up with a million pounds. Yeah, he is. It's it's all going in there. All the money in the center of the table. Let's see him. Full house for John Duffy, and he is our Whoa. poker million champion. Unbelievable. And look at Teddy took it well. Yeah, that was an amazing hand. It would be interesting to ask John if he would have called the re -raise. the big re-raise. I, I tend I to think he would have. Thing. I think he would have, but he I may not have. What a result. John Duffy, he can't believe it. He's just won a million pounds. It's one and a half million cool dollars. Everything went right for him today. He's played a great game. He's gotten the cards. <sighs> Look at the emotion here. He is He's completely drained. He gave it everything he had, and he deserved to win. He played the best at this final table. And it couldn't happen to a nicer guy, let me tell you that. Absolutely. He's a true champion, and I want to tell you something. He may have been unknown before today, but everybody's going to know this face, and people are not going to want to see him at the point. Help yourself, John. By the way, that's enough, for the, that's enough for the drinks. <laughs> that's the first round of drinks paid for right there. The winner of the single largest pot in the history of poker, his trophy, a check for one million pounds, and the title of Labra Casino's Poker Million, the champion, John Duffy! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Sky presenter, Carrie.
it must be so difficult for you to do, but can you possibly sum up what it feels like to win one million pounds? Euphoric. I, I, yeah, I, I can't. No, it's, it's like a dream. I feel like I'm dreaming. It's like a dream I had last night. You know, do you know what I mean? I kept dreaming that maybe I could win it, maybe I could win it, and, I, you know, I'm here. I'm here. Hey? What? Oh, what am I going to do? The guys in the commentary box are so impressed by you. They say you're playing the most amazing poker. Where it's did you learn shirt. it? It's Phil's shirt. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's seeping in. It was seeping in. Oh, that was a nice little plug for you looking at that clothing line. Yes. Oh, I was possessed. I was possessed. <laughs> now, everyone wants to know, everyone wants to know, John, who you are, where you've come from. Me. I'm just a regular guy, you know, <laughs> you know with a million pounds in the bank, you know. <laughs> Tax-free I'm just, you know, oh. I'm just, you know, a, a club player down in the Victoria, you know, uh, on, the, on the Edgeway Road. And, um, oh, God, I'm so emotional. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Now, you said uh, you were going to pay off your credit card bills if you won the million. Yeah. You must it'll have... Just, it'll uh, just cover it. Just, just cover it, I think. Yeah, yeah, it'll just cover it. A little bit left few, to do something else? Yeah, there'll be a few quid left. There'll be a few quid left. Yeah. Now, I know you've got a, a wife and family. A yeah. wife apparently not so keen on you playing poker, no, but she will she... Which, which camera? Where is she? I don't know. <laughs> if, she's, if you're watching, darling, so, I, I did win. <laughs> She said, she said you'll, she said you'll never win. Do you know what I mean? She said, I don't know why you're going over there. How have you enjoyed the tournament? I've loved every minute of it. Every minute. It's, it's just, ah. Oh. I mean, you know, the guys that have won the World Series will know how I feel here. Do you know what I mean? It's just, you know, ah, oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. So uh, I take it you'll be back next year. Not that you need the money. Definitely, yeah, yeah. As long as Barry pays the entrance fee. You. <laughs> You're not going to gamble it all away. <laughs> no, no, no way. John, many, many congratulations. Uh, go and buy everyone a drink. Well done. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>